morning from Minnesota. Good morning. <laughs> we are here at the Junk Bonanza and we are about to head inside and look for treasures. There are tons of people here today. The line to get in was massive yep. and we are hopeful there's going to be good junk inside. Some people are going that direction. It says more good junk. Yeah. Which way should we go? You can enter and win up here, want. and then you can listen for your name for the rest of the time. Oh, okay. There's great stuff everywhere. Is it all antiques? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Everyone's going that way, so we're gonna go this way. Sometimes that is not the right decision. Sometimes it's the right one, and we have no idea what's happening, so let's go for it. I have a bad feeling that they're all pros, and that's why they went that way. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes, and we're just like unique and we do our own thing. We are totally trendsetters. <laughs> we go our own way. First impression, everyone is so lovely. We're signing up to win the Yeti. They're gonna be doing giveaways throughout the day. So wish us luck. Check out this lion over here. He's pretty fantastic. See a little Swedish doll of horse. This looks really cute. $28. Ooh, I love the tapestry. We've got to see how much this is. Tapestry is $275. $275. It's beautiful. Loving this booth. This is a beautiful little painting. $40. What is this? How adorable. Look, everything's so miniature. That is hilarious. This was our first time in Minneapolis and our first time at the Junk Bonanza. We've heard from multiple people that this market is amazing and that you can find different vintage from all different eras. We know that the pricing is probably going to be pretty high at this market. So our goal today is to try to find some good deals. It's not always easy at these amazing markets, but there's so much amazing vintage and we're just going to cross our fingers. We can find some stuff for a really good deal today. This is interesting because it looks very much like the C. Jerry piece that I have, my double sculpture, but it's not the same. He's got $75 on it. I'm gonna have to do some research on that, see if it's a copy or if he did another version that I don't know about. the good stuff. Look at you. Look at this little turtle ring. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Wow, these are beautiful. I have been teaching Maya so much about vintage jewelry and it's been a blast to be able to look at pieces like this in person with her so she can start to learn what stones are and how to tell if something is authentic Native American crafted. And I'm still learning too because the one thing that I know about vintage is that no matter how many years you have been collecting and selling vintage, there is still so much to learn. There it is, the penguin ice bucket. <laughs> They put on several events here in Minneapolis each year, and their next event is going to be December 2nd and 3rd. And then it looks like they also have a spring show next year in 2023, and that's gonna be April 13th through 15th. They have several Junk Bonanza events throughout the year. And what's funny is that I didn't realize until we got to this market that Junk Bonanza actually reached out to me to be a vendor when they came to the Pacific Northwest all the way back in 2017. I went to tag them on an Instagram story and I was looking at our old messages and I thought that that was hilarious. I never knew it was the same Junk Bonanza.
This market has really good energy. When we first got in line, we were offered donut holes, I believe by the owner of the market, and everyone in line was just laughing and having a really great time. But I will say that as soon as those doors opened, everybody darted straight to the doors and you could tell we have some serious competition today. This chair is so amazing. Look at this. It's only $45. So far, it does seem like the pricing in Minneapolis is very comparable to the pricing in the Pacific Northwest. These lamps were a very popular item. They sold almost immediately after the market opened, but I was talking with the vintage owner about these lamps. Apparently a dozen people came up and were asking about them after they already sold. They are super unique. They almost look like they have bird's nests for lampshades. She didn't know much on the history of them and I have never seen anything like this before, but that's what's so fun about coming to markets like this is that you get to see things you've never come across. $85. She's fantastic. Oh, you have so many cool pieces. I love you. <laughs> well, we love you. Thank you. Hands down, she wins the coolest space. Like, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm obsessed with everything in here. I was gonna try not to buy too much pottery unless I couldn't resist it, but this beautiful vase is only $12. And I think the color on it's really great and I just really like it. I think it's kind of a one of piece. It is artist signed on the bottom and for $12, I just can't walk away. So this beauty is gonna come home with us. A kitty painting. Oh my god, so cute. so cute. Are you kidding me? We have to get this. Is that a little dead rat? Oh. <laughs> $32. There's no playful tabby oil on canvas painted by Robert L. Groom. We have to get that, right? It's hilarious. Yeah, we have to get it. He's so cute. We found another amazing space that had so much vintage jewelry, and this time they were selling it by weight. The rings were coming in at only $20 to $25, so we started pulling out all of our favorites and got a final quote at the end. Yeah, Mexican sterling. That's pretty. Yeah, see how much that is. It's a napkin holder. It's only $15. It's so cute. That'd be cute to put your little makeup palettes in. I want to thank Base for sponsoring today's video.
Jesse and I have been going on some of the most amazing adventures in our lifetime this past year. And everyone always says it's about the journey, not the destination. And that is so true. When you are packing your bags full of treasures, including brass items that are very heavy, it is so important to have good quality luggage that rolls effortlessly. We learned this lesson early on this year, and it is a lesson that I will never forget. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell. A lot of you I'm sure know who she is and she wanted to make sleek, affordable bags, luggage, and accessories that are designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. Base has thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage, 360 degree gliding wheels, which was a huge must for me, a cushioned handle, which I didn't know was a must, but now that I've had one, I will never go back, built-in weight indicator, washable bags for your dirty clothes. I used this a lot on a Morocco trip because we were in the Sahara Desert and we got dirty fast, and all of the interior pockets that you will need to keep organized. I especially love the ones that were made specifically for my laptop. It kept it nice and secure and safe. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors, and for shorter trips, the Weekender bag is super functional. My favorite feature of the Weekender bag is that you can put your shoes in the bottom. So when we were leaving the Moroccan desert, we were able to put our sandy shoes in the bottom. Brilliant design, super convenient, so that you don't get sand on the rest of your clothes. Whether you are packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through the security line, base has your personal items covered. Traveling with our base luggage has made all of the difference. We are in love with our base luggage and I know that you will be too. And right now, Base is offering my viewers, that's you, 15% off your first purchase by going to basetravel.com slash left coast. Thanks again to Base for sponsoring this video and for making our travels so much smoother. I think there's a flower mask. They're so like fairy tale. I need. Mean, what if it said Cafe de Flor? I know, right? <laughs> Close enough. I love this one. Oh, and the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I want to go back. Okay. So <laughs> I have no idea what's about to happen. All I know is that Maya is really excited to tell me something. So, did we record those cups at all? We did record the cups. Okay. I so think I was, so. I was so sad all day about the cups because I decided not to risk packing them in the luggage for 50 bucks. Sophie, my sister, no way. has four of them. No way, are you dead serious? She has four of them. She got them in Oregon City. <gasps> and she said she's been wanting to get rid of them and thinking about giving them to me, but she didn't know if I'd like them. That is so And so funny. I was like, oh, I have like way too many of these other cups. Do you want to trade? And so we're trading. She's taking four of mine. So she's going to take your little steamboat ones? Yeah, she's taking a few of them. You guys, And then this I'm going to keep all the steamboat ones until that. But like... If you think about those cups for each of us, they totally were meant for each other. They match your personalities perfectly. Like the pink and green is for me. Yeah, and, the and blue Paris. And gold is for her, but she went to Paris. Congratulations. So. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm it all so happened excited. last night while you were asleep, and I was like, I wanted to wake you up. <laughs> she, she, this morning we woke up, and she's like, I'm so excited to tell you something, but I'm going to wait till we tell it on camera. <laughs> Sophie was like, she said that Hayden ran in the room and was like, did you see Maya's story? Because I, <laughs> oh, it posted on my story. That's how she knew. Saying... I found these cups and like if anyone sees them let me know because I love them that funny. much. And then Sophie just happened to have them. It sounds like she's That's had them for a unreal. while. That's unreal. That's unreal. You never know who. Always yes. always be out there and ask. Always put it out there in the universe because My own apparently sister. your sister can have it. My sister. <laughs> We found some really cool stuff at the Junk Bonanza. I have a hat that I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna try it on for you. I fell in love with this bird family sculpture. I thought it was so unique. It's a little bit rustic, but the shape on the birds makes it feel modern. And this was the very first thing that I bought at the Junk Bonanza. So I was already like, uh oh, how's that gonna fit in my luggage? But it worked just fine. We brought extra luggage and we brought lots of bubble wrap. So we were able to wrap it up nice and safe. And I just think it's a really fun piece. It's it's handmade. It's a one of, I believe. And I just, I loved it. I couldn't leave this little bird family behind. On a much darker note, we became obsessed with this painting. It's got a little kitty and look how sweet it looks. It's got blue eyes, it's little whiskers, and look at what it's got next to him. A little rat. I think it played with its dinner a little bit. I just thought that was hilarious. I've never seen anything like that before. On the back it says a playful tabby. Maybe it's just a toy. Maybe it is a playful tabby. 9 by 12 oil on canvas painted by Robert L. Groom. We also got this base from that same vendor. I really liked the shape on this and the colors are kind of fun. 
this is very much my style and my style, which we kind of found out while we were looking at it because it has a little bit of an art deco feel and she's very into like the 80s revival of art deco. And you know me, I'm all about the shape. It's sign 93 and it says light a candle, enjoy a bloom. So it's a vase candle holder. We were right, we were trying to decide, is that a vase or is that a candle holder? And it is both. Beautiful piece, and it was only $12. And the highlight of the show, and the reason we were picking in the Midwest was to find jewelry, and we found some really, really good stuff. First up, I gotta show you these earrings. These probably have the most beautiful turquoise stones I have ever seen before. Aren't these stones incredible? So beautiful, and I really love how they're raised up, but they're very secure with the sawtooth setting right here. Beautiful clip-on earrings. They're stamped and signed. Beautiful. We found some really good sterling from this dealer. They sold everything at weight, so it all just depended on how much the item weighed. So my strategy going in was to pick really unique pieces and really, really well-crafted pieces. We got two Mexican sterling pieces here, this gorgeous ring with all these different colorful stones set into it, and then this nice, thick sterling cross. So pretty. Maya picked these out. Out. She's really into checkered prints and these are so fun. I don't know if she's decided whether she's gonna keep them or sell them, but I'm very excited for her to start having her own vintage to sell. She's learned so much already and she's doing a great job picking pieces that are unique and that you just don't see every day. That's kind of what I've been teaching her to do. Beautiful little wolf pendant. Another stunning turquoise stone. This render had so much good stuff. We couldn't believe it. And this is one of my favorite rings I have found in a long time. I'm always on the hunt for mixed metal so that you can wear your gold and silver jewelry together. I think having a piece like this that has both gold and silver really ties in your other pieces. If you have another sterling ring and you have a gold necklace and you wanna wear it all together. A piece like this really helps tie it in together. This was the first one I spotted, this big daddy. Of course we had to get this. It's got a beautiful kind of organic coral stone. I love when it's got the little holes in it and a deep green turquoise stone. It's just extra dramatic. I love that one. I got the copper cuff and this necklace from the same vendor that I got the birds from. And I just thought that this was a really cool necklace. It's costume, it's not sterling, but it's cool. And sometimes that's what I'm looking for. We got these three pieces also from the same vendor that we got all of this jewelry from. This beautiful Mexican sterling clamper cuff with a pretty little polished amethyst stone. Do you think this is supposed to be an animal? And this is the tail and that's the head. I'm super curious. Kind of looks a little bit like a snake. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think that's an abstract animal? Love to know what you guys think of it. These are often hard to find with the stone still intact. A little portion of the stone has fallen out over there, but the rest of it is in really good condition. And I just think he is so cute and cool. And check it out, you can put him on a chain and he can become a cute little necklace. You can have a little lizard crawling across your chest. I love that. And then a beautiful Jerusalem cross pendant. I am not an expert at this. Look how it shimmers. Even with that kind of hazy look to it, I think it's absolutely stunning. So I think that that's a man-made stone. I don't think that's a natural opal, but so pretty. Super pretty when the light hits it. Gorgeous sterling piece. And now I just need to show you the hat. What'd you think of your first junk bonanza, Maya? It was pretty good. There was <laughs> lots of stuff to look at. Was it a little overwhelming? Nah, I have points. It was busy. It was very it was busy. busy. Yeah, you kind of had to wait your turn to get into a lot of the booths. But I think that's what you really want when you come to these junk markets because you want to know that the vendors are doing really good yeah. and they're selling lots of items too For because sure. that's what gets these vendors back out year after year at the markets. Yep. Today was a great day and we loved the junk bonanza and hi to everybody we met today. We made some new friends. We even made friends that had connections with people we know back home in Portland. Yeah. So it's really fun to be in a completely different state, halfway across the country, and we're still in the same community. It's a small world. It is. <laughs> All right, we hope you enjoyed today, and we will talk to you guys soon in the next episode.